Yo, 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 what it do, what it do, man? Who we got in front of the camera right now? Morning, 900. Okay, be live. For shit show, for shit show. Now, SMB, can you tell us what that mean? Stack Mo Brothers. For sure. When did y'all come up with Stack Mo Brothers? Shit, I ain't come up with it. See, Fed them came up with it. I don't know what I'm talking about. For sure, for sure. Is it like, is it like a group of rappers or what? Nah, it's shit, family, brothers. For sure. Now let's say like, you know what I'm saying, for somebody that's watching this interview and they wanted to get in S and B, how could they get into that? Or can they get into that? She... For sure. Loyalty ain't right nowadays, you know what I'm saying? That's a fact, that's a fact. Now uh you from Milwaukee, right? But you grew up in North Dallas? Yeah. For sure. What can you say the differences is between Milwaukee and North Dallas? She... Milwaukee smile. Just the whole city really smiling to the Lord Alice. But, shit, at one point in time, shit, it was way more shooting going on. Yeah, up north than it was in the mouth, you know what I'm saying? For sure. Now, like, as far as the culture, was it like a culture shock when you came down here from uh, Milwaukee? It's different. It's different than motherfucker. Okay. For sure, for sure, for sure. Now, Mooney 900, what kind of student were you in high school or school, period? Talking about when I was there. Yeah, or here too. Period. No, I'm talking about shit when I was at school. Yeah. Shit. I used to like to skip. <laughs> For sure. But shit, I was quiet in school. Shit, I ain't really um, fuck with people. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Shit, did you play any sports like growing up? Shit, I used to, I stopped playing sports after I was six. After I played six. football in the little league. That was it. For sure. For sure. Now shit, you know what I'm saying? You pretty quiet like you just said. We don't really ever see you into like any drama or any Facebook beef or Instagram beef. Like what keeps you out of those situations? I mind my business. Stay out of niggas' way. You know what I'm saying? I don't even fuck with social media beef shit. For sure. Do that shit. For sure. Respect, respect. Now, kind of getting to the music a little bit. What inspired you to start making music in the first place? Honestly, bro, I really don't know. I, I love music since I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, my daddy went to prison when I was five, so before he had went to prison, and he used to do music. He still do music. See, he used to always take me to the studio with him. And see, when I was little. For sure. So that's some, that's like some of the things that keep you going and keep you, you know what I'm saying, consistent with you making music today? Nah. See, when you got a passion for something, you got a passion for it. Shit, I might, I might shut down on the whole world and still go record something. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So shit. For sure. It's just shit, that's how I express myself. Okay, okay. Now what do you need, like, when you have a studio session, what do you need to have while you record your music? Shit, my mic, my computer, and me. For sure, any, like, any drink, any, any weed, smoking weed, mm -hmm. nothing like that. For sure, for sure, for sure. Now, as far as, like, social media, you know what I'm saying? Do you feel like an artist needs a social media presence to be successful? Nowadays, because everything is digital. Right. Right. Okay. Do you feel like it's harder nowadays than it was not back in the day? Be like, passing out CDs and shit like that? Yeah, no. It was way more footwork back then than it is now. For sure. For sure. Now, uh, for people that's not familiar with your music yet, how would you describe your music? I mean, shit. I'm gonna say open, pretty open. You know what I'm my music is pretty open, bro. Like, I just talk about my everyday situations, you know what I'm saying? My, my everyday emotions. My music. For sure, for sure. Now, uh, like when I hear your music, I hear like like pain music a little bit, and then I also hear like like street music and like some swag music. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel I like, like music for females too? Music for females as well? For sure. Do you feel like an artist needs to have a, like a variety of sounds to be successful today? Nah. A lot of these niggas sound the same. Okay. So I don't feel like you gotta have a, a, a variety of sounds, but shit. I don't know. Some, some of the suckiest niggas is rich right now, and I'm still trying to get that, so shit. So. I don't know. I don't know if it's just you got to know the business part of it right. or what. 
for sure, for sure. Now, I want to ask you this, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? If 6 9 Takashi 6 9 was to come to you right now, you know what I'm saying? After he snitched. Whatever he's finna ask me, though. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to say is, that, like, is there a way that you can put the music, like, like, okay, let's say this. Can you put the personal shit and the business, and can you separate those two? You can separate personal and business, but I don't fuck with rats. Okay. For sure. So I don't give a fuck about nothing being personal or business. For sure. For sure. I got to select. I, I don't know. I got to select a few people I just will fuck with when it come down to the music shit. Okay. And 6 9 ain't one of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's ask this then. Like, what artist today would you like to work with in the future? trying to get me about this motherfucker. I don't, I don't really be liking doing features with niggas like that no way cause see you seen what happened with Uzi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a fact. He hopped on the song with a nigga just cause he thought that bit, you know what I'm saying? He knew that bit was gonna be platinum, you feel me? Yeah. Fucked around and put his verse on the snitch ass nigga song. That shit. I feel you, I feel you. I feel you. Cool. I feel you. Man, that shit crazy though, bro. That shit crazy. Now, what can we expect from Mooney 900 in the future, in the 2021 year? See, just expect to see me on the TV screen by 2022. Okay. Okay. Be popping somewhere on your TV screen. That's a fact. Now, uh, one more question for you, fam. Uh, let's say that it's a, it's a label that want to sign you. You know what I'm saying? But the advance isn't all the way there. But like the future. You know what I'm saying? Royalties would, would take up for that. Would you sign a deal or are you staying independent? Shit. I don't know. I already damn near did that, though. You know what I'm saying? I believe in who believe in me type shit. That's why I'm fucking with this stack mode shit. It's SMB shit. You know what I'm sure. saying? It's a, lot of, it's a lot of getting it out the mud that came with this shit. You know what I'm saying? For sure. This shit got a meaning to me, so shit. I wouldn't really even. I really wouldn't even want to leave SMB. Respect. I was on SMB to be with me type shit. Shit, that's the label I'm trying to rock with forever. For sure. For sure. Now, shit, where can people follow you at on social media? Shit, y'all can follow me on Instagram, Mooney underscore 900. You know what I'm saying? Add me on Facebook, Malcolm Hilfner. Shit, Snapchat, Mooney underscore 900.